Here's just really quickly, we've got some emissivity values. Notice that glass here is 0.93. When I'm calculating running numbers, I just use one to be conservative. Now, samples are typically uh, an emissivity of, of, of this, somewhere in this range, one or just slightly below. Notice as a point of comparison, if you have a nice polished copper, it's 0 0.02. Now this would be assuming that it's shiny. Uh, if it's dull because it has some oxidation on it or the surfaces are rough, and also if it has oil or uh, finger oils or grease on it, this actually adds to the emissivity. So you can take a, a very nice surface and but if you're always handling your cryogenic parts with your bare fingers, you will have a buildup of, of oils on every one of those parts and your emissivity goes up and in the end, then your heat loads in the cryo will go up. And on top of that, the finger oils will also fly away when you pull vacuum and they'll end up on some cold surface. So we always recommend to maintain the cleanliness inside the cryogenic environment. We're, wear uh, latex gloves when handling the cold parts.